again, YouTubers, to another Walking Dead recap video. Okay, so this video is purely about the San Diego Comic-Con trailer that came out, which is the Walking Dead Season 7 preview. And you know what? It was an incredible one. I'm glad, finally, to see some more footage of Negan in the upcoming season. We learned a decent amount about what's in store for the Survivor group here, but we're going to get into that a little bit more. So first, I'm just going to go through the trailer, and then I'll add in some commentary about the things that'll be happening based off of the comic books. So there may be minor spoilers as to what's going on, but I'm not going to full-blown say anything that happened from the comics. Alright, so the first minute and a half, roughly, uh, so about half the trailer, it's basically a recap of a bunch of the characters that are sitting around in a semicircle waiting to get their heads bashed in by Negan. So a lot of that's just recap. But when we get into the newer stuff, we first dive into Negan beating the hell out of somebody. We don't know who it is still, but we run into Morgan ends up seeing the kingdom again. He's walking around with several guys on horseback wearing armor and have pikes. That is definitely the kingdom, and we get back to that a little bit later on in the trailer. We see Negan pop up to Alexandria a few different times. I definitely love to see the image of him banging on the gate with his bat. Then we have him going in there saying this is the only way, there's no fourth option. Um, I gotta imagine that they're trying to barter with him, the survivors, but that's not gonna happen because that's just not what Negan does. We see a lot of clips of Jesus kicking ass, and I gotta tell you, he is excellent at kicking ass, and I'm glad to see him still around in the show for sure, and hopefully sticks around for a very long time. Probably the biggest clip of the whole trailer that's new is we see King Ezekiel, someone I actually did a video on, and I'll link to it at the end of this video. We did a video on talking about who exactly he is, what his purpose is at the kingdom, and did I mention that he has a freaking tiger sitting next to him? Yes, I explained that as well in my video, but just to give you a quick overview, he was a zookeeper in his former life. He had a tiger that he ended up saving when he went with him to the kingdom. We definitely get to see a lot of Dwight in this trailer, which is great, because in the comic books, Dwight plays a pretty huge part as to this whole storyline here. So good to see him go around, even though he does kind of look like the hound a little bit. But it's good to see him a lot in there. It looks like we're going to dive into his past a little bit, why he is burnt the way that he is. And I'm excited to see that all play out. In addition to seeing a lot of Dwight, it looks like we're going to see the Sanctuary, which is the home of Negan and the Savior. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of cool stuff that we're going to get to dive into with Negan. Because if you're going to get a character right on The Walking Dead that's a villain, it has to be Negan. What you will notice in the trailer is that all the people who are on their knees in front of Negan waiting to get beaten up are not in the trailer at all. Except for one person where I'm pretty sure we saw a glimpse of Sasha so I don't think so Sa like I didn't think Sasha was in danger anyway she's not my pick as to who is going to die at the hands of Negan on the show but it is a little bit of a slip as to who didn't die then so I guess it's important so what it really comes down to it looks like we're gonna have a show that is gonna be based in three or four different locations uh, clearly it's gonna be in Alexandria that has to still stick around we'll also eventually see the hilltop a little bit more because that's Jesus community We'll also see the kingdom, that's going to be a new introduction for all of us, and then finally, we're going to see the sanctuary, which is the home of Negan. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on in that location, in addition to the kingdom in particular, so it's as good a time as any to pair those together, considering where the storyline is going forward. But that's going to do it for the video, thanks so much for watching as always, I love doing these videos, I'm really glad to see some new Walking Dead content, I've been putting out Walking Dead stuff like once a week roughly, for the past little while because I want to start getting geared up for this upcoming season. I mean, Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan is going to be great. The only thing I'm concerned is he can't really curse and that's pretty much all Negan does in the comic books. So it's going to be a bummer if they can't find a way to adjust that creatively, which so far they, they have. His speech before he beats someone up is almost word for word from the comic books. So let's see if that keeps that train going on here. If you want to watch some of my other videos, of course, you can check them out. I'm going to specifically link to this one right here, which is all an explanation all about King Ezekiel in the comic book. So there are some spoilers, but if you want to know about Ezekiel, check it out here. But that's going to do it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Hope you take care. Goodbye.